It's poster portfolio time in the Secret Sanctuary. Tonight's artist, fan favorite Josh Middleton. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the Secret Sanctuary. Once again, DC Comics has put out a poster portfolio of one of their favorite artists, Josh Middleton. This one is another mixed bag. There's 20 prints in here. They're all removable, all frameable. Uh, but only some of these are worth a frame. Some are good, some are just okay. But certainly there's enough here to make it worth the $24.99 uh, price tag, uh, which can be found actually much cheaper on Amazon and maybe some other sources as well, or through your comic shop, often offers a discount to you regular customers. So let's take a look at the prints. All right, starting strong with one of uh, Middleton's back row covers. This is a really, really beautiful image. I really like how he does the mouth and her eyes. He tends to draw back girl younger, sometimes even younger than she's seen here. But a really cool cover that I think will uh, draw in a lot of customers. One thing I do a little differently uh, than maybe some other reviewers that do these poster portfolio reviews is I try to give you the source for each image. So this one is Aquaman number two, variant cover. Really nice image. Mira has kind of a hard edged look here, I think. It's not the most beautiful image of her. Aquaman's face is rather soft here. It looks almost a little feminine. These are just my opinions, of course. Next up, we have Batgirl number 13. A very dynamic image. Kind of an interesting style with a um, very indistinct background which really highlights the character in the foreground. Again, Middleton seems to be really strong on eyes. Next up, we have one of the mini Action Comics number 1000 covers. Kind of an old fashioned Jimmy Olsen. Lois with her trusty pin. Strong image on Superman. And then we have Lex in his battle armor. All right, next up we have the Harley Quinn 25th anniversary special number one. Kind of a cute image of Harley. The belt buckle. Again, with kind of an indistinct background highlighting the character. Next up, we have a variant cover on Aquaman number 40. This seems to be a slightly different style from Middleton, more realistic. Really beautiful cover. This is my favorite print in the book. It's from Deceased number five. And I love that image of Wonder Woman. Right in the middle of battle, facing off against Superman. That's just something else. Really, really cool. Very beautiful, even though she's just very fierce in this image.
This would be one of the frameable prints in this book, I think. Would look great next to any number of super or I'm sorry, any number of Wonder Woman statues. This is a variant of Batman number 26. Nice picture of Ivy up in a tree as she's often portrayed in her natural environment. By the way, the Prime 1 IV is currently uh, almost sold out on Sideshow's, Sideshow's website. I don't know about the Prime 1 site, but Sideshow's about to sell out of this, of her uh, one-third piece. And pretty soon we're going to get a glimpse of uh, the tweeter head Poison Ivy 1.6 scale. We should be getting a full reveal on that in the next few weeks. Next up we have Catwoman number 35 variant. Instead of dumping out her candy after trick-or-treating, Selena's dumping out her jewels that she stole that night. Very clever cover. Again, this is kind of a different style. Middleton displays different styles in this book, which is kind of fun. It's not just the same thing over and over again. This is a variant of Aquaman number 37. Very cool cover. Again, really highlighting the characters over the background. And again, the eyes. He's really strong on eyes. This is Batgirl number 24, a variant cover. This one's pretty cool. You've got the bat insignia on her costume with an actual bat. Of course, skeleton. different flowers on each side and her expression kind of one of shock a little bit all right this is dark knight 3 the master race number one variant so this is middleton kind of aping miller it's much cleaner, a much cleaner style than Miller had in Dark Knight 3. But obviously there's serious Miller influences here. Very cool. Next step we have back roll number 26. This is kind of a whimsical cover of her on her bat cycle driving through Gotham. Their hair flowing behind her. The same color as the setting sun. Very fun. This is Vixen number one. Next up, we have Aquaman number 10 variant. This is a really beautiful cover. Really nice image of Mira. Have to wonder what she's looking up at. The school of fish swimming around her. Really nice cover. Aquaman number 26 variant. I love the webbed hand. Really beautiful. This one's Batman number 50. Catwoman in her wedding dress. There's a great DC Collectibles statue 
of Catwoman in her wedding dress. If you haven't seen it, I encourage you to check it out. It's a beautiful one six scale statue. Next we have Supergirl number 43, Flying Among the Seagulls. This is another kind of whimsical cover. Just out to fly around a little bit on a sunny afternoon. Batgirl number 22, variant cover. As the sun sets, Batgirl takes to the night with a lot of bats. Kind of an exaggerated style. Her legs look exaggerated in length. But it shows kind of uh, the joyful side of being a superhero, I think. Just as the Supergirl cover did before this one. This one, he's making a bigger use of the background than he does in some of the others. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, number one, variant cover. This is kind of a funky cover, really. Harley's face is kind of what you'd expect of her. Poison Ivy is, I don't know, unimpressed. It's not as beautiful an image of, of Poison Ivy as you often see. But it's a very, uh, it's a much more realistic style than some of the other prints in this book, on at least on Ivy. And finally, we have the image that we saw on the cover. This is a variant on Batman number twenty-three. Again, a really beautiful image of Batgirl, looking off into the distance. Really nice. And I'll show you the back cover, which shows all the prints, 20 removable prints. Again, it retails for $24.99, but you can find it for less. I think I paid about $17 for it, something like that. Um, I really like that DC has continued to put these out. Um, but they got to keep the quality up. But they're, they're really fun, and I'm glad that they've kept them affordable. So that's the DC Comics poster portfolio for Josh Middleton. Again, a mixed bag, but some very nice prints in here. Um, a few things before I let you go. I did start a Secret Sanctuary Facebook group. So if you haven't joined that, please do. Uh, just look up Secret Sanctuary on Facebook. It'll come right up. Uh, you'll see an image of... Uh, from the new frontier with Superman, Batman, all the Justice League members in there. That's the thumbnail photo that you'll see. Um, if you haven't been to my website, Detective27.com, I've got comics for sale there. I've got some statues for sale, so check that out. And I will be back, I think, tomorrow night with a review of the new sideshow Aquaman, the Jason Momoa movie version. And I think that the piece that I saw in San Diego was a production piece. And if that's the case, I expect to be very happy tomorrow night because that was a really beautiful piece. It might be the first good movie piece that Sideshow has done. Their likenesses are usually horribly off, but uh, maybe this one's gonna be a winner. So let's check that out tomorrow night. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Otherwise, I will see you on the message boards. I will see you on Facebook and at a convention near you. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Thank you.